Wow. Cause I'm too lost. Off the speakers can't even handle me. Given what I got, nobody's gonna drain my energy, and I will never stop. I'm motivated by enemies. Setting up. So hey guys, and welcome to another amazing video of Genshin Impact. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat the electrohypostasis in a more convenient way. So first things first, we need to switch our team. So apparently, the electrohypostasis is weak against pyro characters. So I got Diluc, Yanfei, and Xiangling who I have been investing these past few months, but mostly on Diluc. D Luck is now level 80, Yanfei is level 70, and Shang Ling is also wow. level 60. Also, if you have these pyro characters, you are one lucky bastard. Forgot to mention my favorite shield slash healer, which is Dayona. She is my second shield. My first one was Noel. This was my healer shield. DPS. Wow! Or, honestly, I think she can play every role. Now, uh, Shangling summons Goba, which I think it means the god of stove. Goba is on the field. He or she reduces enemies' fire resistance. When the enemy is like that, you have no choice but to run. And when that happens, you just need to hit it in the center. Luckily for me, Diana's skill can auto target enemies. One more, one more. Okay. Looks burst. Now, when the enemy is in this state, three prisms appear. You can only damage these by an elemental skill. Although Diluc's skill. He's mostly physical, but he coats his sword with flame, so that is an exception. And that's pretty much it. And that's it for today, folks. Like and subscribe for more updates. Thoughts come out to the cross. Off the speakers can't even handle me. Given what I got, nobody's gonna drain my energy. And I will never stop. I'm motivated by enemies. Setting up shops so everybody remember me. And now I am.